Well, I don't think you're going to be eating this before wedding story, right? Because oh, everyone's no. got, we had the whole <laughs> right. workout for weddings, and now you're just on wedding beat, Lindsay. One of the hottest trends when it comes to weddings, multi, I, I'm acting like this is my microphone. I was oh, just doing right. that. Yes. <laughs> and, and I was not even noticing. I just the realized. Oh, you were doing that. doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Talking about multiple ceremonies, more and more couples are deciding to tie the knot not just once, but sometimes two or even three times to the same person, by the way. Oh. Lindsay, back with more on this story from They're the Wall Street Journal. They're basically saying, I do, I do, I still do, whether it's to accommodate different religions, different geographical locations, or just different st ceremony styles. An increasing number of couples are opting to say more than one set of I do. For nearlyweds, planning for their one big day is difficult enough, from picking the perfect dress, to designing a venue, to balancing a budget. So imagine planning for three. This is the dress that I wore to the Catholic ceremony. I just Monisha Akuri needed four wedding dresses for three different wedding ceremonies at three different venues, two in California and one in New Jersey. So we're doing three wedding dresses. We are. With a dress budget of $15,000, she said yes to three of the four dresses on TLC's show, Say Yes to the Dress. Are you saying yes to dress number one? Yes. Are you saying yes to dress number two? Yes. Are you saying yes to dress number three? <laughs> yes! <laughs> and as it turns out, ringing in your marriage more than once is a growing phenomenon. You know, there's oftentimes um, families with very different ideas as to what a wedding should look like. A couple has to decide, am I gonna do it my way or am I gonna do another wedding and please the rest of my family? Chris Fava popped the question to Monisha last March, but they quickly learned weddings aren't just about what the bride and groom want. I never thought it was going to be three ceremonies, but because of all the different wants of people, it ended up just naturally occurring like that. Were you overwhelmed at all with the idea of three weddings? Uh, yeah, yeah, a bit, a bit, yeah. But I just went with it. With different cultural and religious backgrounds, their East Meets West Tri Wedding included a traditional Hindu ceremony, a church wedding, and a personalized intimate wedding at a vineyard. But for a lot of bride and grooms, doubling or tripling the planning can mean double or triple the headache. There's a lot of pressure. You have to have the ability to handle stress. I wouldn't recommend it for everybody. Something to consider for those thinking about making multiple trips down the aisle? If you want to have more than one wedding, no matter how you splice and dice it, you're going to end up spending more money. So, you know, you're going to want to budget for that. As for Chris and Monisha, they managed to tie the knot three times, all while staying within their one budget. Some people would say having three weddings is a bit much. It is an extravagant thing to do but it was done to make everybody in our family happy, and we accomplished that. An unconventional approach that gives a whole new meaning to three times as a charm. As was the case for Manisha and Chris, more than 15% of all marriages feature spouses of different races or ethnicities, so uh, having multiple weddings, especially to accommodate different cultural backgrounds, it's a trend that's likely to continue. But as you know, just one exhausting is exhausting. and expensive. Yes. So those with right. means, I guess, can if they'd like, but I feel like that's a, a lot of whew. patience. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. We appreciate it, Lindsay.